All right, so this question is asking you to calculate a value for an equilibrium constant in terms of pressures if I give you an equilibrium uh, constant in terms of concentration. And so in order to do that, we need to know what the relationship is, and that's that the equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressures equals the equilibrium constant in terms of molar concentrations times the quantity RT to the power delta N, and delta N is the change in the number of moles of gases. So number of moles of gas final minus number of moles of gas initial. In other words, number of moles of gas in the products minus the number of moles of gases in the reactants. So let's see how this worked out. We're gonna assume that the Kc for all three reactions are going to be 2.5. And so let's do the first one. So Kp equals 2.5 times 8.08206. And this is going to be the first time that you're going to hear me say this, but just ignore the units. Equilibrium constants are unitless values. So go ahead and neglect the units in this case. And if you want to know why, then I'd suggest I gonna let, I'm going to let Dr. Google explain it to you. At the end of the day, you don't need the units. So let's just go ahead and put the temperature. Now uh, it's at 273 Kelvin. Now we're going to raise it to the power of negative one. Now, why negative one? In A, I had two moles of gas in the products minus three moles of gas in the reactants. That's where I came up with the negative one. So when I run this through my calculator, I get 0.0. .0 179. Okay, let's do B. All right, I get Kp equals 2.5 times 0 0.08206 times 273 raised to the power of 1. I get the same thing as before. In this case, it's 2, it's 3 minus 2 instead of 2 minus 3. So it's positive 1. And that makes the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure 56.0. Now on to C. Kp equals 2.5 times 0 0.08206 times 273. And what's the power here? It looks like I've got 10 moles of gas minus 7 moles of gas. So it should be the power of 3. So the equilibrium constant in terms of pressure here is 176,000. And these are the three values that the problem is asking you to solve for. So that's it.